Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the ethmoid bone. Um, you're looking at the posterior side, this is anterior. If you were to look at it in the skull, it would rest right like that. So the first thing I will mention is we have the crista galli, which is this rigid spinous structure here. Then we have the cribiform plate, which is on uh, either side lateral to the crystal gallic. And in that you will see a bunch of foramen, which are the olfactory foramen, foramina. And then we have the perpendicular plate, when you're looking anterior, perpendicular plate runs here. It actually meets with the vomer, and we'll talk about that a little later. Then if you look at the um, posterior side, we have these little nubs that you can barely see. Those are the superior nasal conche. And then these structures here are the middle nasal conche. And last, I will talk about the ethmoid sinuses, which the best way to look at are through here. And it's just inferior to the cribiform plate. Okay, and I will show you a couple of these that we can see using the intact skull. So you can see the crista galli right there. You see the cribiform plate and with the olfactory foramina. And then we have the ethmoid sinuses, which rest just inferior. And if you look straight into the nasal cavity, you have the perpendicular plate, and you can barely see the superior nasal concha in there. And the middle nasal concha should be right in this area. It's not very good on the skull. Let me see if I can find a better one. Yeah, so middle nasal concha, you can see a little bit better here.